Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. The beast has arrived. Seriously, the beast is here and this video is just going to be an unboxing. Now it's always an exciting day around the Overclockers Club studio anytime we get to review a new product, but today it's extra super special because we've got the RTX 4090. It even says Fragile right there. So uh, this is just going to be an unboxing video and the actual review will follow shortly after. So we're just going to just sort of open the box, take a look at it on the outside, and then uh, we'll fire it up and get into the details uh, on the next review, which again, that'll be coming up very soon. So for all of you following along at home, let's see what it looks like. This is a pretty nice box the way they do the side fold outs. And I think we'll just pull this unit out and get it on the table. Get the box out of the way. That's a, that's a pretty heavy duty box. And no Alexa, I wasn't talking to you. But thanks for trying to help out. Okay. Oh, it's almost like I almost hate to open it up. I mean, I want to open it up, but... Oh, look at that. Very nice. All right, let's get the paper out of the way. And here we go, another couple little tabs on the side here I have to peel off, which I almost hate to do, but you have to open it at some point. All right, so, okay, everybody ready? I feel like I need some kind of a drum roll here. And here we go. Wow. Look at that. That thing is huge. I mean, you really don't. Wow. It almost doesn't look real. And it's heavy. That's impressive. It looks like you could put a license plate on there and take your family on a vacation. It's like a small RV almost. So, for a frame of reference, this is going back several years. This is an old <laughs> GTX 680, which in its day was an impressive card. Very briefly, King of the Hill in its time, but let's look at the size of this thing now compared to the 4090. Of course, I know it's not an accurate comparison, but for the longest time, most graphics cards, you know, fit into this envelope uh, of size. And now it's like the size of the 4090 is like the size of the box for the 670 when it was new, but it's something to see. All right, so enough of the 670. It's the 4090 show today. And I think there's something else in the box. Let's see, I think this comes out. And this should be the power connector, yeah. And it just basically says, install the card, attach the power supply, connect the monitor. Pretty straightforward and there's a power connector. Look at that. Four eight pin connectors down into this little guy. And that's where the power connector goes on top. It is a three slot card, so it's uh, <laughs> it is very wide. Over here on the output side, we've got a single HDMI and three display ports. Pretty generously vented there on that side. This is an intake fan, so we pull air in from this side and flip it around the other way. And this is an exhaust fan, so exhaust air is pushed out uh, from this side. And it 
looks like. Yeah, this is all venting across here. Of course, you can almost see through that area right there where your uh, heat pipes go through for uh, the heat exchanger. On the bottom, <clears throat> there's your PCIe interface. Keep that covered up until we're ready to plug it in. Now the dimensions are widely published, but we'll go ahead and I'll just take some measurements right now while I've got it. So we're about 125 millimeters on the body, the height, the overall length, that's going to eat up pretty much my whole scale. Yeah, almost exactly. And this is 305 millimeters on the length and then the thickness. It is right at 60 millimeters. So like I said, that's a very large card. All right, that's about all I can show on the unboxing. So that pretty much wraps the unboxing up. Check back here soon and we'll have the video review live. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and of course, don't forget to subscribe.